Saffron Risotto or better known as Risotto alla Milanese, a beautiful risotto dish from Milano. And the main ingredient is the saffron. Oh, you will love how easy this is. Look at the creaminess of this risotto. Look at the perfection. Look the colors. Look what we got over there. Look at that. Oh, guys. Mmm. Mm, mm, mm. To make saffron risotto for about two, four people, we need 200 grams of carnaroli rice, which takes about 16 to 18 minutes to cook. Half chopped onion, 80 grams of butter, I divided into two, three to four tablespoons of pecorino cheese, a standard glass of white wine, any white wine that you have, some salt and pepper, and the most important ingredient is one teaspoon of saffron and 500 ml of beef stock. I chose beef stock because it's nice, rich and powerful. To turn the saffron into gold liquid, what we need to do is we need to get a glass, okay? And we fill up half glass with boiling water, okay? Boiling, boiling water. Now we place the teaspoon of saffron in there and then we mix. Now, this is not ready to be used yet. My recommendation is to do this many, many hours before you make a risotto. Yes, you can do it just before you make the risotto. But if you want to get the best out of the saffron, the day before or two days before, you do that you make a risotto you do this and the saffron will be like red this will turn red now if within five minutes this will become a gold color which is enough for you to make a saffron risotto but if you really want the best of the best out of your saffron do this process the day before i'm going to cover it the glove wrap and i'll see you in a few hours my friend and this is the gold, liquid gold, the liquid that is gonna make you more expensive. <laughs> this is saffron, the pistilli of saffron, they get picked one at a time by hand, okay? It's a very difficult job. And this liquid gold is gonna make your risotto taste amazing. And this is basically the main ingredient, pretty much the, the, the ingredient to make the risotto tasty, okay? This is the color that you get after about 10, 15 minutes of you resting the saffron in boiling water. Look at that. It's getting closer to red now. It's like a sunset. Do you like my saffron face? Da, 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 da. Hello! <laughs>Guys, it is important that for this recipe, we use a very nice hot stock, okay? The stock should always be hot when you put in the rice. First thing to do with the risotto is we place the butter, so only 40 grams. We need half now and the other half is for after. And together with the butter, we're gonna have the onions. We want to saute the onions and the butter. We want them to make love together so they give more flavors to the rice. You can also use extra virgin olive oil if you don't wanna use butter, okay? Feel free to use it. Saffron risotto is a recipe from Milan, and in Milan, they love to use butter. We want to saute the onion for about three, maximum five minutes, and then we add the rice. I love the smell of butter mixed with onions. It's so yummy, yum, yum, yum. Guys, after a few minutes, we're gonna add the rice. And now we want to toast the rice for a few minutes. So you keep stirring, for a few minutes. The reason why I chose Carnaroli rice is because it is one, if not the best rice for risotto. But you can also use Arborio if you cannot find this rice. It's kind of, um, I don't know, we are gently frying the rice, you know? Everything is tasty when it's fried. It's not fried, but kind of. After a few minutes of toasting the rice, we're gonna add the standard glass of white wine. Here we go. From this moment, we can count 16 or 18 minutes. You need to follow the uh, cooking instruction on your pocket. This is the moment 
where we start cooking the rice, okay? We need to start counting how long we are cooking the rice for, okay? My rice needs 16 minutes from now. Now, if you don't like wine, or you don't want to drink wine because of any reasons, you can replace it just with water. But the wine will give you that great acidity balance that water cannot give you. The perfect way to cook rice is to use a, a stainless steel pot, something very deep. The reason why I'm using this uh, saucepan is because it looks better in the video. So it's just a better look, you know? As you can see guys, the wine is evaporating quickly and we don't want the rice to dry up or to stay without any liquid. We always want the rice to be moist. So what we do is we're gonna add the very, very hot beef stock not all of it just a little bit until we cover it okay that's enough and now we can stir and what we do is every time we see the liquid disappearing when you see that the rice is drying up you add more stock i'm cooking on a high heat so it's a fast process mm, the smell gets better and better uh, wow. So here I want to give you the example. See, see the example, see, it's getting dry. See, the liquid here is disappearing. Okay, we want to add more stock now, okay? More stock until we cover the rice. Make sure the stock is always nice and hot. We have 11 more minutes until the rice is ready. All right, guys, can you see here? Can you see what's happening here? What we do is we put the rest now of the stock Okay, all the stock is gone. And now we're gonna keep cooking until you see that the rice is starting to dry up. Now we keep stirring. And the next liquid I'm adding will be the saffron. I have been cooking the rice for 13, 14 minutes and look how red it became. Huh? Before I started the rice, this was almost yellow and now it's completely red. Okay, it's been 14 minutes. As you can see, the rice is almost dry there, so it needs more liquid. This is the time for us to add the golden liquid. And here we go. We're going to cook now the rice for the next two to three minutes with the saffron. The color of the rice will change. It will become a nice dark yellow. And this is how you make the saffron risotto. Look how beautiful. Look how stunning. Two more minutes to go, come on guys. Hey guys, we're almost ready. We are pretty much done. Our saffron risotto is ready, and now it's time to add the final touch. Pepper. As much as you want. Butter. Now we stir with the butter. We do this. So the butter is gonna make it creamier and creamier oh yeah my friend you do need the butter now let's take the risotto off the stove let's keep melting the butter and i'm gonna add the pecorino cheese generous amount of pecorino cheese or parmigiano reggiano this is up to you and here we go look how wonderful this risotto is look how beautiful and creamy this risotto is mm -hmm. Look how important this process is. Come, come close, come close, come and have a look. See how creamy this is because of the jumping technique? See the tossing technique? And look, super, super creamy. Look at the color of this beautiful saffron risotto. Huh? Look how wonderful it is. Hmm? You don't need to go to the restaurant. You can make this yourself. It's so much fun. Let's do a nice presentation of this dish. Here we go with the risotto. Yum, yum, yum. Look how creamy. Look how creamy! And now this is what you do with the risotto to spread it, okay? Like this, under the plate, you go like this. And if your risotto is creamy enough, it will spread. The final touch, we're gonna put the saffron right on, in the middle, on top of this beautiful risotto. OK, 
how creamy this is, okay? Look at that. Look at the creaminess of this result. Look at the perfection. Look the colors. Look what we got over there. Look at that. Oh, guys. Time to eat. You know what time it is? It's the best time of the video recipe. Eating time. <laughs> Come on, let's have this beautiful creamy saffron risotto. Mm. The carnaroli rice, cooked to perfection, creamy enough, and those flavors, unique flavors of the saffron. Come on, guys. Mm. Irresistible, delicate, very, very delicate. Mm. Mm. The flavors of Milan are in my mouth and soon into my belly. Oh, this is a beautiful culinary experience. Mm. Mm -hmm. Guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I will see you in the next Vincenzo's Plate video recipe. E ora si mangia. Vincenzo's Plate. And 500 ml of beef stock. It's nice and strong.